right, Shalom, Shalom, like to say all praises due to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakah Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to all your brothers teaching the truth and sincerity throughout the four corners of the globe. All right, this is Tyler Yoff, Jim S. Boston, coming back once again, all right, with a quick impromptu, and uh, yeah, man, this, this, this false world is quickly passing away. All right, and I say that to say this, you know, when you have the blessing of the eyes out from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, for letting us uh, see. How demonic, how uh, lackluster, how um, how this world is a facade. Going along with that, uh, the the motion picture, uh, the Matrix, all right. So, I say all that to say this, all right, <clears throat> and. You know, you just been subtle around people and you try to see what they know and <laughs> these people are absolutely mad. Okay, especially ones that took the you know what. Okay. But uh yesterday at my job, right, we have these uh morning meetings three times a week and I'm in full services and things are uh, things are ramping down so to speak in full services when I say that I mean by the way it looks right now we're gonna run out of containers before the food dries up okay it's, it's hard to get uh containers you know for carry out for service uh forks and knives disposable it's hard to obtain those things now so by the end of this month you know uh, uh things are looking bleak for anybody with a uh, food service establishment okay Maybe not for the conglomerates, which is the, the poison that they like to feed people, but for the mom and pop shops and the privatized uh, eateries, let's put it like that. Uh, it's looking like it's coming down to uh, the end of all things for this world. Let's say it like that. Okay. But it's one thing that, you know, that made me want to do this uh this little pistol right here is you know the hopes and the dreams <laughs> or you know my boss he said that uh maybe in may of next year 2022 that catering would be open once again and we're looking at a grim situation right now. And he's talking about uh, the future. Right? Let's get that real quick. I want to I wanna, uh, go back to that. first page I could just put it in so 
So him just, you know, saying that uh, a whole bunch of scriptures that's jumped into my head. And this is one of them right here. It says, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thought for the things of itself. Sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof, right? And like I said, we, we're facing a grim situation for for this side of the the uh the the world and he's talking about next year okay it's not grim for the men of the lord you know this is a, a glorious thing that's happening you know the downfall of esau edom but i was i'm just saying from the standpoints of a person that's surrounded themselves in darkness all right and that's a hundred percent proof that the Lord has blessed us with the eye salve to see and to hear, you know, the warnings from true men of the Lord. And, and, and you know, look at to our goings, so to speak. But these people, they're not going to do it, man. They're, they're, they're settled on their leads, so to speak, and worried about uh, Christmas already. Okay got this one uh crazy lady at my job she just busts out of nowhere always singing jingle bell crazy madness okay that's another scripture let's get that real quick Isaiah 60 chapter 60 right and I'll start from one it said the rise shine for the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee yes this knowledge wisdom and understanding that's for us you know the men that read the scriptures men that uh, listen to the word of the Heavenly Father men that fear the Heavenly Father okay because I think that's that's the whole uh 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 beginning of these people that's in darkness man they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai so since they don't fear Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai great uh, uh, tribulations are about to befall them alright it says for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And these people at my at my job, so to speak, they know that I'm different from them. Okay. It's been told to me by several people, even the, the director of that building. And I'm not uh, boasting or bragging, but these people know that it's something that they can't put their finger on because they're, they're in uh, as the scriptures say going down they're in gross darkness alright and it says and the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising you know and it's it's only few and far in between people that come up to me and ask me a ponder upon something that was said to them and they try to go over it with me you know and um it's very few and far in between especially now okay because things are getting worse and worse but it seems like i'm the one that sees worse and worse but them they have hope in tomorrow for a better day in this kingdom you know so to speak it's verse 4 lift up thine eyes round about and see all they gather themselves together they come to thee thy son shall come far from far and thy daughter shall be nursed at thy side 
okay and that's that's what we're starting to uh, see okay that these people on the internet first and foremost right they're gonna start coming and they're gonna start uh trying to join themselves onto us through the power and spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai right let's go ahead real quick Let me go back. Because I want to go back to uh, verse 2 before I go on to the. Uh, verse uh, in chapter 61 Salaki it says for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people right and so I just want to make that be known that those people are covered in gross darkness all right the ones that are pushing for a better tomorrow it's not gonna happen all right it's not coming and <clears throat> I want to go back to uh see right here in Isaiah 32 it says rise up ye women that are at ease hear my voice ye careless daughters give ear unto my speech now like I said the lady that likes to sing jingle bells right and I'm kind of like all over the place all right she does that because of that that gross darkness that's upon her. Now, during that that uh, morning meeting, when the boss said that it's going to be harder for us to get things, hopefully it gets better by the uh, spring of next year, right? And I'm sitting there with a with a <laughs> with a look on my face that everybody knows. You know, saying that it's all right with me. You know, I don't care. But uh, for this for this lady, all right? She doesn't she she doesn't understand that the supply chain is broken. She doesn't understand that there is no longshoremen out there on the west coast. So they're putting it. But she doesn't understand that this is the collapse of America the Great. Or Babylon the Great. Slaki. <laughs> she doesn't understand that. So for that, I want to read Isaiah 32 and 11. It says, Tremble ye women that are at ease. Be troubled ye careless ones. Strip you and make you bear in gird sackcloth upon your loins. Right? And it's going to be a multitude of women, right? That's going to get caught out there in the same spot where this lady is at my job. Not believing. No, that's not going to happen. You know? Even even family members, they still shopping <laughs> on, a, on a weekly, you know, uh, uh, how can you say it? Like weekly goods and services, bringing them to the house weekly, 
you know, and I had to explain to one person in my family, that's got to stop. You got to, you got to uh, prepare yourself for what's about to happen because as soon as possible, the, the food price is going to jump out of the, out of the roof. Okay. So it's not going to be any more uh, nickel and dime buying like that. It's going to be bulk buying, you know, you're going to have to buy in bulk. So you, you won't have to take a trip to the store in that time of trouble, man. Okay. You know, and that person, you know, very well knows about the word, the Heavenly Father. And, you know, uh, uh, repenting and doing as the scriptures say to do when you're supposed to be doing it. Okay. But that just goes to show you the mind of a woman. Okay, she's always at ease. So it's going to have to take some type of embarrassment or uh, tragedy or turmoil to wake up her out of her fantasy land. And that's what you're about to see. All right, a lot of you uh, Israelites that's of the female uh, uh, gender okay because it's not stopping and then in the end you know they're gonna come come a running so to speak but that's neither here nor there I'm just saying that you can see the gross darkness on all these people faces males and females but Females are going to have it much, much worse because of the comfortability that they like, right? Supply chain's broken. No more clothes, no more food, no more goods, okay? Which I mean, like soap, uh, hair, you know, hair products, and a litany of things, medicines, simple medicines like alcohol, uh, uh, lotion, you know, simple stuff, you know, that people think nothing about right now, but when those things disappear, oh, it's going to be hell to pay, <laughs> you know, your sanitary napkins, so to speak. scriptures about that <clears throat> let's get that real quick Isaiah 3 and 24 and it says and it shall come to pass that instead of sweet smell there shall be stink and instead of a girdle a rent and instead of a well set hair baldness and instead of a stomacher a girding of sackcloth and burning instead of beauty alright and that's what's coming to you uh, women okay here in Babylon the Great after this uh, supply chain breaks down all right. <clears throat> Contrary to popular belief. All right. Let's go here. Let's go back to uh, Isaiah 61. Right. Because this is this is why this has to happen. All right. This is why things have to go awry so to speak, all right, it's verse 1 of chapter 61 in Isaiah, it says, the spirit of the Lord power is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek, he hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to them that are bound, right, so the words that I'm um, speaking on to you, right 
that's supposed to release you from the grips of right of Babylon the Great of the Matrix okay it says to proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn so this is the time that we're looking forward to man it ain't no more oh I, I don't think it's yes the Lord is coming to wreak havoc on Babylon the Great all right especially here he's gonna gonna put his his full measure of vengeance upon Babylon the Great man all right and it's supposed to comfort all of them that that mourn because there's no joy here been in captivity here for all this time right and it's to no avail, man. Okay? It's to no avail. Right? It's to no avail. And it's gruesome. It's gruesome. So, this is why we are to push the word of the Heavenly Father in such a manner. Right? To make sure that <clears throat> Salaki to make sure that is heard okay if you can hear me I hope you did all that time it was coming through a headset that I had on but took off the headset but yeah this is why we proclaim the the truth all right because the spirit of the lord is on us to do it all right so that you can accept it hold on to it and don't turn back from it all right verse three to a point on to them that mourn in Zion to give on to them beauty for ashes, Slaki, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praises for the spirit of heaviness, okay, that they might be called trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified, okay, and that's why we do it, man. No more to think after. Esau eat him, but to think after the ways of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai. And Zion wants the destruction, all right? The elect of Zion wants the destruction to come, all right? And that's the bottom line. So I just wanted to put that out, man. It's no looking for a better day tomorrow. Because it's not going to come. This place is done. The Lord is putting the kibosh on it. And it's just going to get worse from here on out. Okay. For you women. For the nation of Israel. Okay. Your job is not to be at ease anymore. All right. This is your job right here, Isaiah 32 and 9. I'm going to read it one more time and then close out. It says, Rise up, ye women that are at ease. Hear my voice, ye careless daughters. Give ear unto my speech. Okay. Take a look around, man. The Lord ain't playing no more. He about to bring this bitch down. Okay. So with that, I want to say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakah, Kadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity. All right. I'm part of the ball. Quam Yasharala. Shalom.